thought I would share with you guys what I am currently reading. Now this is probably boring to some of you, so you can X out if you get bored by this or you're not into reading or books. Um, but I tend to like these kind of videos. I'm always searching for a new book to read. I also really love reading stuff that I can get inspired from or get ideas from or get uplifted from. So I thought I would share with you guys some of my favorites. First thing you guys are probably tired of me showing in my videos, um, but is Every Day of Friday by Joel Osteen. And the reason I show this book so much is because I get asked about it so much. It teaches you how to be happy, how to be happier, seven days a week instead of just Friday. But it's much more, it's just very inspiring and powerful. And this will literally change your life. I promise you, if you read this, it will change your life. Joel, if you ever see this video, which you probably never will. But if you ever see this video in this lifetime, know that I love you and I love your book and I love your finish. All the other books that I'm reading right now are on my iPad. So I'm just gonna open up my library. One of the books I'm reading right now is called The Defining Decade, Why Your 20s Matter and How to Make the Most of Them Now. I'm still on the preface, but this book is so good so far. If you are in your 20s, you definitely need to read this. People kind of feel like their 20s is a time for to be carefree and fun, but basically your 20s set you up for the rest of your life. So it just talks about the importance of being in your 20s and really like getting it in and putting in work so you can be successful for the rest of your Another life. book I'm reading is Jillian Michaels' Slim for Life. Jillian Michaels has a wealth of knowledge on working out and eating right. And pretty much this is just that. She talks about what foods to eat, but she puts it in layman's terms so that anyone can understand it. And it's really insightful and it's a really good book, especially like if you are a beginner in learning how to eat healthy or learning the right foods to eat or what to do. She just lays everything out. I'm also reading this book called It's Not About the Pom Poms by Laura Vick Manis. It's about how a 40-year-old mom becomes NFL's oldest cheerleader. But it's really good because she talks about uh, growing up, her battle with weight, um, losing weight, going through divorce, she was abused. There's so much good stuff in here. Uh, just from the front, it looks like it's kind of like a ditzy book about pom-poms or cheerleading, but it's actually really good and inspirational. And I got it a couple days ago and I haven't been able to put it down since. You'll also really love this if you're a dancer or you compete in pageants or any of that stuff. She talks a lot about competing and auditioning and things like that. But not least, I'm reading this book called The Stress-Free You, How to Live Stress-Free and Feel Great Every Day, starting today. I'm reading this book because I am a perfectionist and an overachiever in some way. I stress a lot about just getting things right and achieving things and just getting things done. And so it puts a lot of pressure on me. So I need to learn how to be more stress-free and more, I guess, laid back when it comes to certain things. Talks about extreme stress overload, how to identify the stressors in your life. So if you stress out over stuff like me, then you will want to read this. That's it for what I am reading now. Comment below and let me know what you guys are reading because I'm always looking for some other good books to read. If you guys would like to see another one of these once I finish all these books and start on some new ones, make sure you thumbs up this video so I know that you guys want more. Thanks for watching. Bye.